Qua 94 one the base party station. Joey Franchise, Poppy Shampoo, New Wave Ting Guan here. My man, Big Baby Scumbag in the building. What's happening, guy? What's up, man? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Glad to be out here, man. Tampa native. Uh, when I first came out here, my man Adrian actually put me onto your music. Because the first, only thing I knew here was just that it had Tampa had its own sound. It had the Juke sound, mm-hmm. and it's been like heavy like that for years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you pretty much came up on that stuff. But to hear you, it was just like, yo, this is this is a different side of Tampa. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about that sound, man. Where does it all emulate from? When I was growing up, I was always listening to OJ the Juice Man, Juicy J, Gucci, O Three Six Mafia, all of that. So like, when I started making music and shit. That in, oh Lil B, the pack all that. So like when I started making music, like that influenced me heavily, and I just like I figured out a way to not try and bite off of them so much, but make it my own thing and give it you know the Florida taste because those artists are from you know Atlanta, right. Texas, Memphis, that type of shit. So I just put my own flavor into it and. It was a rap from there. Because, yo, your flow literally has, like, a nostalgic southern <laughs> sound. like, And yeah, that's what man. caught me the first time. I'm yeah. like, I'm hearing, you know, you know, s- songs like, you know what I mean? Like like the one out right now, like Jameis Winston, mm-hmm. and, you know, and, and, and The Chirp and all that stuff. Like, records like that that just kind of put me in a place like, damn, I feel like I'm in early 2000. Yeah. Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, OJ. I yeah. mean, I feel like Hot Boys, like, type of vibe, too. Like. This is crazy. So explain to me, like, how'd you get into rapping? When did it all start for you? It all started, uh, started like two and a half years ago. It was me, Lil Scum, Pablo, and then another boy of mine, uh, Skinny. We all went to, uh, me, Lil Scum, and Skinny, we all went to school together and shit. So we've known each other since like teenagers or whatever. So... Uh, they hit me up one day. They was like, yo, we making a rap group and shit. And I was like, word, all right. But like, I didn't rap at the time. I was right. like, word, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and they was like, yo, we want you to be in it and shit. And I'm like, well, I don't even rap. You know what I mean? But they was like, well, it don't even matter. Like, you can just be in a group to look cool and shit. Like, you know, like, you know, just to be cool type shit. So I was like, all right, bet. So I come to this video shoot they're doing. And that's where I actually meet Pablo. I met Pablo at this video shoot for uh, their video. So uh, the next day, I was in the studio for the first time, right. and I wrote my first freestyle. It was called uh, Venezuela Freestyle. Venezuela Freestyle. Venezuela Freestyle. The freestyle went on. Um, my bitch from Venezuela. She from the Himalayas. Some 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 crazy shit. I wrote it in like two seconds, but like it was a rap from there. Basically, like. I never like planned on rapping like the shit just happened, you know, because every yeah, yeah, because everybody around me was doing it. So I was like, well, like, I'm just give it a shot. You know, it's worth a shot. And it's cool because I like I like how you got the movement thing. I mean, you guys came up all together and, you know, they kind of put you on to game. Yeah. So explain this whole, you know, this whole scumbag movement, man. man. Scumbag. That's that. Honestly, that answers for Pablo. (laughs) Pablo. (laughs) Pablo. (laughs) Well, you know, right now it's a little craziest though, cause like we all we all doing our own thing, so we all trying to figure it out. And when the thing happened, baby, his buzz went crazy. So right now we all just like you know we all playing our roles until he take off. Then we got Lil Scum, we got our um, Skinny, you know that's our boy. We got love for him, you know he's doing his thing and all that. So we just trying to figure out how to you know how to put things together. So you know we come from Tampa, you know in Tampa nobody makes it. Like even if you get a little buzz, people out here they want to take you down. So we're just trying to stick together, you know what I mean? If anybody in the city, you know what I mean? We just got love for everybody. So his buzz right now is growing a little crazier. He got, like, cold signs from Lil Yachty. You know, he got big people that are messing with him right now. So we're just trying to put him in a position, you know what I mean, to succeed. We got Chuck, DJ Chuck. You know, we got help from Mike, his manager. So we just got, like, a group of people that just gather around together. So the more help, you know, the better. You That's know? good, man. That's a strong and, – and, and I really got to commend you guys – you know what I'm saying? Because you guys kind of brought him into the forefront mm-hmm. and you guys let him grow and do his yeah. thing. I actually had a similar conversation with uh we made in Tokyo a little while ago. Mm-hmm. You know, how he got started. And his brother, 24 Hours, was mm-hmm. actually, you know, on before he was. Mm-hmm. And he kind of, like, took the backseat a little bit, just let him pop right. off. Yeah. And now, you know, look at them. Now they're both, 
you know, right. doing the damn thing and touring and, and all that stuff. So that's what's up, man. Squad 94.1, the Bass Party Station, Joey Franchise, my man Big Baby Scumbag in Swag. the building. Whoop. So let's talk about this Jameis Winston record, man. Where was the idea for that? And it, it's such a Tampa record, man. <laughs> and I like it because it, it gives Tampa, like I said before, a different sound and, and just the vibe alone. So how'd the whole process come along making this record? Oh, uh, man. I heard the beat. My boy sent me the beat. And... I was holding on to the beat for about a week because I knew the shit was going to be a hit, but I didn't know what I wanted to say on it. I didn't know what I wanted the hook to be. So, uh, bro, honestly, I don't even know how I came up with it, but I was like, uh, my girlfriend got a white girlfriend and she looked like Paris Hilton. And I was like, damn, what rhymes with Hilton? Like, (laughs) that's, that's literally how I come up with my shit. Like, it's just so natural. So... I'm telling Pablo, I hit up Pablo and I'm like, yo, we got one. Like, we got to shoot this video ASAP. And I was like, yo, it's about Jameis Winston. (laughs) And he was like, I told him, I I told him what the hook was. And he was like, yo, but Jameis Winston don't got a white girlfriend. I was like, bro, it don't even matter. This shit is too catchy. It don't matter. Yeah, let it ride. I was like, bro, it don't even matter. This shit too catchy. So like, we was like, all right, we got to get the crab legs in the video. We got to have a football. Like, we got to, we got to be in a mansion, like for real, like living like Jameis Winston. Like, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, bro, that's how that came about. And, like, we was going to hold on to the song right. and wait until football season. I mean, this coming around, yeah, 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 it, yeah, it came yeah, out yeah. in good time. Yeah, so I was like, man, let's drop this ASAP. F- that, like, <laughs> <laughs> like we, yeah, like, when I get, like, really, like, passionate about a song, like, I'm ready to drop it. Like, can't hold on to it. Like, let's do it. No, that's good. Yeah, I like right. that, man. And, and it's cool because I feel like you keep them pump. you know, keep the joints coming right as they come. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You, I remember Jelly after Jelly, you know, you had another one. Then, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, you definitely got a good little wave going for you. And now has anybody like Jameis Winston? Because I know you got the campaign going. I was, I watched the you know the Insta stories and all that. <laughs> Everybody tagging Jameis Winston, and it has him or any of the Bucks players that contacted you from the situation. They have not. We working on that right now. I know Jameis Winston probably done seen it. He don't want to acknowledge it right now, but he's got to have seen it. Right. He's got to. Got to. <laughs> And I want to go back, so definitely go check it out because it's on SoundCloud right now, Yeah, right? yeah, and SoundCloud, YouTube. It's about to be on Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, all that good stuff, too. That's live. Yeah. And I want to go back to, um, you know, you being here from Tampa. Like, how important was it for you to kind of stand out? Because a lot of people, you know, like I said, you know, the Juke sound has been what Tampa's been known for for a long time. So how important was it for you to kind of stand out, you know what I mean, aside from, you know, from that genre in the city? Uh, man, honestly, it was easy for me to stand out just because I knew I didn't sound like nobody else from out of here. So I knew like from the very jump when I dropped my first song, The Trenches, I knew I was like, oh, man, like I'm a pop. Like, don't nobody sound like this. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, was, I mean, I just had that confidence about it, you know, and um, there there's other people in the city that don't sound like anybody else outside of the city as well. Like. Tampa has hella talent. Like, we all sound different. It's just that nobody has, um, on the outside, from the outside looking in, like, nobody's really uh, tuned into Tampa and see what we got going on, right. basically. Like, you got, you got like, Betty Doll, and you got Vinny, you got Sonny, you got Lil Scum over here. There's a lot of talent out here, for sure. And what do you think, as far as... um? You know, people em- embracing this new talent in the city. Because, you know, you hear a lot of, you know, some of the same, you know, mm-hmm. records that you came up listening to still mm-hmm. in these clubs now. Like, how do we push, you know what I mean, that new Tampa culture forward? Uh, Support each other. Don't be selfish. Support each other. Show love. Give credit where it's due. You know, just simple stuff like, uh, you know, curating good shows, like having good, you know, Tampa artists at these shows instead of like focusing more on booking these mainstream artists why don't we you know hold a big ass like Tampa show with all of you know Tampa's best artists and what we have to offer just more stuff like that that's what I feel like I like that and you spoke about uh, earlier you know Yachty reaching out to you right and about your music is that something that is yeah, working out that's, the kinks. I know he's moving. He's moving around a lot because of the tour and stuff. Yeah, like that. Like him. Like him. Even reaching out to me. That's even more motivation. That I know I'm doing something right. You know, because like I've known I've known him for like two and a half years now. Like since he was in high school type shit. Like before the rap shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a yeah. I'm a um do a backstory on it. So anyway, it was like two and a half years ago, maybe. We we went out to Atlanta. Yeah, we went out to Atlanta, and we was at this house party. Well, no, no, no. Okay, I'm a. As the night we're driving to Atlanta, Michael? we pull up and then the the literally the building there's just a note on the building that says the the building burnt down, no venue. They're trying to figure something out. Wow. And we drove all the way from yeah from Tampa to Atlanta to figure that out. So we ended up just going to a house party and that's where we met everybody at. Yeah. Yeah. At first, uh, my boy Zila, the dude that's on the trenches, right? He was like, um, cause he was friends with Yadi on uh, Instagram and shit. Tom yeah, so he was like, he was like, yo, we about to link up with my boy out here. I'm like, word, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we link up with him. Honestly, like my first impression, I was like, who the <laughs> is this kid? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he have all the, yeah, 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 yeah like he, yeah, was yeah the like same. He had, like red yeah. hair. He was wearing a do rag. I thought he was just like a, like, I, I, honestly, I thought he was a Tumblr kid, just kid who's like famous on the internet. Right. And I didn't, I had never even heard his music until like literally. On our way uh, out of Atlanta, Zayla was playing his music in the car, and I was like, okay, it's kind of fire. And within months, like, like a month or two after that, it was over for him. Like, he was going crazy, doing crazy yeah. numbers. Yeah, so he, yeah, he been had the red hair. Like, yeah, ever since we linked up with him at that house party, we just been cool. Nah, none of that was out. That's cool. And anybody you looking to hopefully work for down the road? Mm, of course. Um, like, work with musically? Yeah. Juicy J, basically all my influences. So the Gucci Mans, the OJ, the Juice Mans, the Juicy Js, the the Trick Daddies, mm. the damn uh, Lil John and the East Side Boys, like Yin Yang Twins. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring all that shit back. I'm gonna bring everything back. And it's cool because everybody's bringing all the old '90s vibes yeah, back. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Early so now, 2000 so, Southern yeah, yeah, yeah. vibes so, like that. So that's now, cool. so now it's time for the Lil John and the East Side Boys getting a haircut in the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? Bitches everywhere. We're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have the big gasoline, the big gasoline oh, thing yeah, with the crunk juice. With hella with hella <laughs> liquor in it. Yeah, bro. It's gonna be lit. That's live, man. Yo, big baby scumbag, man. Appreciate you stopping through, brother. The song Jameis Winston is out right now, as long with more stuff. Give him the SoundCloud, all that. Big baby scumbag.com. I mean <laughs> <laughs> Trip it. SoundCloud.com slash Big Baby Scumbag. Twitter.com slash Big Baby Scumbag. Instagram.com slash Everything Big Baby Scumbag. B I G B A B Y S C U M B A G. Swag. There you have it. Wild 94 1.